Alrighty. Well, Steve is scared to death because of what we're about to do. Which is our arena against me versus several other ones. And if we win, I will grab their heads and keep them for our treasure. Oh, okay, the lab in a minute. Come on, guys, get burned. So we won, but now we gotta repair the, house, the building. Let's keep this armor and stuff in our inventory for now. And now let's repair our damage to lab. But on the bright side, at least we didn't get killed, and, I don't, and Steve was in the garage, so he didn't get hurt. Kit's over there, so he didn't get hurt. Dude, get out of the lab! This isn't your lab, get out! No, no! Out of the lab! Out of my lab! Dude, my lab! Part of the lab fixed. Now we gotta repair our door. No one tells Steve so he doesn't get mad at me. <laughs> um, I think the door was like right about. No, that's not where the door was. The door was like right about there. Yeah. Yeah, that's where the door was. So we gotta. We do this. So we did win. We lost a little bit of the lab, but we won. <laughs> I'll go tell Steve we repaired the damage. He, there's no way he didn't hear our explosion. Alright, the lab is repaired, Steve. We have everything we built. The lab's repaired. The door's repaired. The walls are repaired. And the floor's repaired. You're welcome. Don't ask about what's underneath the, the um, testing Oh well, let's go ahead and go add our new stuff to our treasure hold. So we did win. Again. So which end should we put it on? Let's put it over here. Let's see, we had zombies, other skeleton, skeleton, and peepers. Alright, we won. You know what, actually?
And that's our trophy. Trophy, I guess. And there's our trophy for doing that. Right now I'm going to show you guys. This is a how to build thing. And we'll put this in the testing chamber down there too. So I'll make the room for it. And that's at the end of the video. So the material we're going to build the Star Trek Enterprise first ship warp core. So the materials you are going to need are red stand stairs. Red sand slab and orange terracotta, red stained glass paint and blue. And do not oh and do not forget the fact that it has to be a paint for that and a block of green stained block paint. whatever green glass block whatever. <laughs> so you can. And, oh yeah, and then you can use any block of your choice, and you just set one, two, three, okay, and go one, when you start, you go one, two, three, block, one, two, three, four, five, block, okay, so that's how you do that, and then for the rest of the ship, we'll, the thing, we'll do that, and then we'll, Fill that in like that. Right? Wrong! We have to put these here. And that will act as in the size of the warp core. Because this warp core is like very big. I guess you could. You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and use the blocks. So. Red on the side and blue on this. Now you take your stairs that we that I told you to grab. If you didn't grab them, then you might want to grab them. Um, simply just fill it around the edges, just to make it look more of like the warp core. And then do this. And you have to leave a two block space. I forgot you are going to need a sea lantern. Sorry about that. You need to leave a block space. There is on the wrong side. Alright, so there's that. And now, you also need to bring your block of choice up like this. And then, take your block of choice, change it out for iron bars. And you'll see why in a minute. Take your iron bars, replace it with a ladder. And this is so you can get up to the top. And then we'll place the ladders the, with an item frame, place it down, place the item frame with a ender crystal, and then place it down like that. And that will be your Star Trek and Christ computer thing. Now for the inside of it, you can put lava in it if you want. I'm just going to put in some sea lanterns. And then fill that in. But, then again, that's one way to do it. But that's not the way I'm going to do it. You can do it like I am too, if you want to be able to shut your warp car. The lights off of your glow right here. I just, I just like completely screwed that up. There. But basically, you need, if you want to make it glow, then you, you need to do what I'm about to do. That involves putting those up here, because you're going to need some redstone on this. 
I'm pretty good with redstone. And you're also going to need a lever to act. And just place our lever down like that, and there we go. Right in the middle of our screen. But you know what? We are going to need... we have to break the bottom part of our warp core and we'll place it like this. so and take your redstone put your redstone lamps here now watch when it flip the lever it will automatically turn those on. Now these are here just for a reason. Those are just for our cables. These aren't really need to glow. If you want them to, you can place redstone lamps here. And take a redstone block, place it in one of them, and that will activate it. But if you do that, then when you flip the lever, it will not turn off. So that's why you cannot do that. So you can just place these in there, and you'll see in a minute what you do next. Now, then, after you've done all this, you do want to go ahead, yeah, make sure your warp core engine is shut off. And we are almost done. Alright, so there's our engine itself. So you can flip that and it'll turn that on. But, but now we do have to grab our glass block. If I can find it. I got rid of them accident. Okay, there it is. And only on the back. Start from the one, skip one, two, put a block. And this just goes up like that. And that's what connects plasma to this. <coughs> but this does take up quite a bit of room, guys. And I do mean a lot of room. So, there you go, and that's how you build your warp core. Now then, on the Enterprise, it has a little valve right about here. And that's where you put a lever. We'll put a valve right here. With a lever. And when you flip that lever, it turns on your plasma. As you can see, it will also affect this, and you will not be able to shut that off. But, if you want to fix that, all you have to do is simply disconnect it from that. And there you go. And then it will work. For those two. Now then, for these other guys, your power needs to start to turn in because there's gonna be something right there and you'll see why in a minute All right, I guess we'll... you need to put in lights right there and that will finish off the inside of your warp core and then there you go, that's how you build your Star Trek Enterprise Warp Core. But we're not quite done yet. Now you need acacia wood fence, and this is just for the gate underneath your warp engine. And I am a Star Trek fan, so it's a warp 5 engine. And there we go, we got our warp engine finished. So you can put this in your own little big ships, but have to make sure you have enough room for this thing. If you wanted to, you could put two on there if you want to have like warp six. I think that's what they did for the warp six engine. 
but to turn on your plasma, you just flip, simply flip that lever, and flip that one to shut on, turn on or shut off your plasma, and flow. So there you go. That's how you build your very own warp core. It does not really work without command blocks, but there you go. This is your warp core with no mods, command blocks, or add-ons. This is your warp core. Handmade and... No one's designed this. This idea just literally just now popped in my head, and it looks pretty good. So I'll probably rebuild this somewhere else on a ship. I'm thinking about. I'm trying to do a mega build right now in process, and this will probably be in there. And then I will do a thing. But right now I don't have the whole ship built. But this will be in here in the ship. So yeah, guys, that's the end of the video today. If you guys want me to build more Star Trek Enterprise stuff, like phase cannons, warp missiles, all that good stuff, let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best. But this is a really cool redstone tutorial, and it only takes about a few minutes of your time to build. You don't have to cancel any plans. It literally will only take about a few minutes. Now, if you wanted to make a really long one then yeah it would take a while but this one does not take that long and it is only one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven blocks long that's as long as this thing is and it does not take that long so yeah that's the end of the video today i hope you guys liked the video please subscribe hit the likes so you don't miss another upload and i'll see you later